Hey guys, welcome back. We are still working on the Romulan Warbird. Uh, and what we're looking at today is the paint. So we're starting off by looking at this studio model to get an idea of what we're looking to do. So we can see the studio model is a dusty green color with some darker streaks, um, some darker green areas, and a lot of lighter green streaks. So the first thing I did is I mixed up a green base coat for this. I used a lot of white, a little bit of haze gray to get a very light gray color, and then I started adding flat green until I had a very dusty green color. And then after all the putty work was done and after all the sanding was done, uh, I sprayed the entire model this one dusty green color. And then for the streaks, as you saw in one of the earlier videos, I didn't want, I wanted a hard line on one side and then a soft edge. So I laid down yellow tape to give a hard edge across the top. And then I used a little bit of cardstock. This is a manila folder I cut into pieces to kind of use as a stencil to provide kind of those lines. Here you can see the bottom of the ship and a lot of those strong contrasting white colors. I cut that piece of cardstock into kind of curves to follow along with the ship, so it was very easy to airbrush across it and leave a hard edge and a soft edge and kind of build that feathered pattern up across the ship. Now on the nacelles and the head, I wanted kind of thin streaks, so I cut a slit in the paper, held it a little bit away from the model and airbrushed through it to kind of give some soft lines. And yes, these are a little crooked right here. I think we did go back and clean those up, um, try and get them look a little bit more parallel. Across the front of the ship, uh, I tried cutting the slit and kind of painting across, trying to make sure I had some symmetry to it, um, having kind of the same kind of lines on one side and across the other. And then I kind of varied how wide this opening was to give myself different um, shapes of lines across the bow of the ship. And then I added some more flat green to give us some of the darker areas across the ship. Here you can see some of the ship with some of the very strong contrast, that stark white, that darker green across the ship. Um, here you can see kind of the head of the ship and see those real strong lines and streaks across it. So what we do after that is we tone all of that down by spraying the entire ship again with the base coat. Just a very light coat over the entire ship. And so those white streaks become light green. Those dark green colors become a more muted green. And the entire ship really gets tied together with that base coat. Overall, you want to, to look um, very uniform and spraying that base coat over it again uh, really does that. Uh, this paint job was actually very fun to do, very enjoyable. Uh, I enjoyed the airbrushing, I enjoyed watching the colors blend together. Uh, it was pretty fun and I think I did what I wanted to do and gain it close to the studio model and we'll see the studio model here in our final two pictures to kind of see how close we came. Um, but overall, very fun to do, and I'm pretty darn happy with how it turned out. After this, all we really have to do are adding the window decals, and that'll wrap up the Warbird.